Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the A417 again with Natasha, Senior Ecologist for Kia. Natasha, when we last spoke, we were at the big bridge, um, which is going to be a huge um, transportation area, as it were, for, for wildlife to go from one end to the next. And if you missed that video, go back to our channels and make sure you subscribe to it, folks. Um, also, now we're here in the next part of the ecology journey with you. Yeah. Tell me about the whole situation here and what's down here in this tube. Yeah. So obviously to enable building the road, we had to do a fair bit of vegetation clearance. So this is the first phase of us starting to put back what we have taken away. So we're, we've started to plant up some trees and shrubs. This uh, will form a woodland belt along here. We'll have some other patches of trees planted and then some grassland establishment as well. And so what's really important about this part of the project, folks, is we've already behind us created the ponds to actually take the water away from the main road. Yep. So that drainage is already done. So this phase is almost like a closed off That's section it. to start that process, isn't it? Why is That's it important it. that you can do that in phases and start building up as quickly as possible? Um, it, re it gives us a, a really good opportunity really. For one thing, it gives us a good chance to get some of this vegetation started and getting it off the ground. Um, and it also allows us to sort of look at where we need to make tweaks and changes. We don't want to get any failures on this project. Starting in it early will enable us to um, really sort of look at what's working, what isn't, make any tweaks and changes and really get all the vegetation off, off and get it going. And of course, when we're protecting people by getting a better road with the A417, we've also got to protect the little things that are in here that are going to be the big things later. But this is also part of the ecology element. What you know, it's it's a plastic tube to, to all of us, but it's not any ordinary plastic tube, is it? Well, it's not plastic at all. It's actually biodegradable tree guards. So um, we've got quite a high deer population around here. So um, it's obviously really important that we make sure that we um, protect the trees from any browsing or anything like that in the early stages of establishment. So we've got some biodegradable tree guards and we're going to be looking at how they work across the scheme as well, uh, working alongside some different companies and things and, and seeing which ones work best. And this is really important, folks, because you've already won a gold award for the work that you've done before the project started and you know, to getting it ready to be done. This data and this information is going to be shared not just with Kia and your colleagues, but also with National Highways, isn't it? Because that's really important for them to understand what works and how different planting schemes can work on projects, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. With climate change obviously becoming more and more of a, a, a topic of importance, you know, and tree planting and, and sort of re-establishing habitats, it's, it's vitally important to make sure that we get it right. Um, so all of this information can go on and, and inform best practice methods really. So folks remember the trees come, the nature comes back to what it would be but also there's a lot of adders if you haven't seen my other video and there's a lot of Roman snails and there's a lot of other wildlife bats really and things is. like that around that actually creating the habitats are actually going to be better than they were before aren't they? Explain how that's going to work because you know obviously people will say we're taking it away now we're putting it back, but better. Yeah, that's it. Well, all of the um, landscaping and all of the planting is in keeping within the local area. Um, and the, the design for the landscaping, you know, there was a lot of consultation with local stakeholders, um, and really important um, customers that have a really vested interest, interest in the, the landscape of this area. So um, there's been a lot of work that's gone into it to make sure that everything is, is put back and improved and, and made the best of for all the species involved. So it's not just about doing roads and doing roads really well and having that whole 3D model of how we're going to deliver it before even diggers get onto site. It's also about how we leave the habitat in a better shape for when we come back. So I'm going to be coming back, Natasha. This tree planting is already starting. It's already starting to grow as well, folks, and we're keeping care of it. And Natasha and the team here are dedicated to this throughout the whole project. You're here for the whole run, aren't you, Natasha? I'm here for the duration, yep. Yeah, that's it, part of the furniture. <laughs> Fantastic. And that furniture with the wildlife is going to keep growing back, folks. So we'll keep our eyes on Natasha and the team about what they're doing in the future. And don't forget to see all of my series on our channels, folks. Thanks again. Cheers. Thank you.